First and most important is to have fun, you guys. You've already done all the hard part. You've studied. You won at your individual schools. So tonight is an opportunity to just celebrate how far you've come. It's really important when you're up here that you also take your time, okay, because you're going to hear me say the word. If you have any questions at all, before you start spelling, and this is so important, before you start spelling, you have to ask me to repeat the word, give you a definition. You know the whole, whole protocol. You've all done that. Because so many times I've seen, and it's kind of heartbreaking, that you know somebody knows the word. But they start speaking, they get anxious, whatever. So just slow down, take a deep breath. So the other point is, uh, for those of you who have done this before, last year the judges were up here on the stage with us. This year they're right down in front. Judges, can you wave your hands? And remember how important it's going to be to look right at them. Don't look at me or at anybody else. You're looking right at the judges because they want to make sure that they're seeing your mouth move, that they all hear the same words. They will then look at each other, confirm whether you got it right or perhaps whether you got it wrong. They'll then look at me and I will, uh, I will let you know. But again, if you have any questions before you start spelling, ask the question, say the word, spell it, say the word again. And the first round is the easy round for those of you who have done this before because there are lights up here, kind of a different surrounding. We want you to be as comfortable as possible. So the first round, you're going to come up, go to whichever microphone you wish, you wish. You'll say your name and you'll spell your name. And that'll just give you a little bit of a feeling for what it's like. And as long as I've been doing this, this is the ninth year, we have never had anybody misspell their name. So, but even if you do, you're still going on to the next round. So let me get down there and then I'll call you guys up in order. We'll start with one. We'll go through the sequence. You come up here, you look at the judges, get a feel for what you're going through, and then we really get down to business. But remember, you guys, you should all just feel so proud of yourselves. In fact, before they start, maybe the audience wants to give them a, a round of applause. All right, relax, have fun. I'm going to go sit down, and then I'll turn on my microphone down there, and we will get started. Yadira, Y-A-D-I-R-A-H, Yadira. And you are correct. Contestant number two, if you want to come up to the microphone and again, say your name and spell it for us. Jackie, J-A-C-K-I-E, Jackie. Very good, Jackie. Number three, and remember, look right at the judges, even though this is the easy one. Get in the habit of looking right at our judges. Go ahead. Alexa, A-L-E-X-A, -E Alexa. Very good. Number four. <laughs> Sheila, S-H-E-I-L-A, Sheila. Very good. Do exactly what Sheila just did. Nice and slow. Enunciate every letter. Go ahead, number five. Evan T. Clark. Capital E, V, A, N, space, capital T, dot, space, capital C, L, A, R, K, Evan T. Clark. Thank you, Evan. Very good. <laughs> Number six. John, J, O, H, N, John. Perfect. Remember to look at the judges, guys, even though this is the easy one. A-U-B-R-E-Y, Aubrey. Thank you, Aubrey. Number nine. Mackenzie. M-A-C-K-E-N-Z-I-E, -E. Mackenzie. Thanks, Mackenzie. Number 10. Emily. E-M-E-L-I-E, -E Emily. Thanks, Emily. Number 11. Madrox, M-E-D-R-O-X, Madrox. Number 12. Tiana, T-I-A-N-A, -A, Tiana. Very good, Tiana, and she looked right at the judges. Perfect. Elijah, A-L-I-J-A-H, Elijah. Thank you, Elijah. 14. 
Jordy, J O R D Y, Jordy. Thank you. Number 15. Whoa. Number 15. Cristobal. C-R-I-S-T-O-B-A-L. Cristobal. Thank you. Number 16. Belinda. B-E-L-I-N-D-A. Belinda. Thanks, Belinda. Number 17. Austin. A-U-S-T-I-N. Austin. Thanks, Austin. Number 19. Maya, M-Y-A. Thanks, Maya. Number 20. Jaden, J-A-Y-D-O-N, Jaden. Thanks, Jaden. Remember, guys, look right at the judges. Louise, O-U-I-S, Louise. Thanks, Louise. 22. Sophia, S-O-P-H-I-A. Thanks, Sophia. Number 23. Ray, R-E-Y, Ray. Thanks, Ray. 24. Ruby, R-U-B-Y, Ruby. Thanks, Ruby. Number 25. Annalie, A-N-A-L-E-I, Annalie. Thanks, Annalie. 26. Kyrie, K-A-I-R-I, Kyrie. Thanks, Kyrie. Okay, round one. Good job, everybody. Now we begin for real. I think somebody wants to tell me something. Okay, contestant number one, you are up first, and remember, everybody relax, everybody have fun, okay? Your word, contestant number one, is even. Even, E-V-E-N, even. You are correct. And you'll notice I pause, because I look at the judges and make sure they all agree. So if you're wondering what's taken me so long, Number two, your word, your first word is spin. Spin, S-P-I-N, spin. You are correct. Number three, your first word is badly. Badly, B-A-D-L-Y, badly. You are correct, and remember guys, don't look at me, look at the judges. Number four. Your word number four is robe. Robe. R-O-B-E. Robe. Correct. Number five. Your word number five is brand. Okay, please have the definition. The definition is... A class of things identified as being made by one company. For instance, Coca-Cola has a very familiar brand. Brand. 
B I A N D, brand. And you are correct. Thank you. Number six. Your word is shy. Shy. A S H Y. Shy. That is correct. Thank you very much. Number 32. Your word is crisp. Crisp. C R I S P. Crisp. And you are correct. Number nine, your word is mean. He was mean to his other classmates. Mean, M-E-A-N, mean. And you're correct. Number 10, your word is after. After, A-F-T-E-R, after. And you're correct, and you were perfect. She was looking right at the judges. Number 11, your word is holding. Holding, H-O-L-D-I-N-G, holding. Correct. Your word number 12 is grade. Can you please repeat the word? Grade, as in what a teacher will provide to a student. Grade, G-R-A-D-E, grade. Correct. Number 13, your word is face. Face, F-A-C-E, face. Correct. Number 14, your word is litter. Litter, L-I-T-T-E-R, litter. Correct. Number 15, your word is paper. Paper, P-A-P-E-R, paper. Correct. Number 16, your word is Soggy. Soggy. S O G G Y. Soggy. Correct. Number 17, your word is street. Street. S T R E E T. Street. Correct. Number 19, your word is mercy. Mercy, M-E-R-C-Y, mercy. Correct. Number 20, your word is pillows. Pillows, P-I-L-L-O-W-S, pillows. And you're correct. Number 21, your word is alarm. Alarm, A-L-A-R-M, alarm. That's correct. Number 22, your word is pizza. Pizza, P-I-Z-Z-A, pizza. Correct. Number 23, your first word is view. Can I get a definition, please? Sure. Um, let's see, what you see from a particular place, as you're looking out on this audience, what do you view? View, V-I-E-W, view. That is correct. And guys, everybody take a lesson from a contestant, he has any question, just go ahead and ask and uh, make sure you know before you start spelling. Number 24, your word is loaf, as in loaf of bread. Loaf, L-O-A-F, 
loaf. Correct. Number 25, your word is forest. Can you please read it in the definition? Yes. A large area of land covered with a lot of trees, shrubs, and bushes. Forest. F O R E S T. Forest. That is correct. Number 26, your word is relax. Can you say it again? Relax. R E L A X. Relax. That is correct. And remember, everybody say the word before you start spelling in case I say it incorrectly so we're all on the same page. Is that round one? So this is the first time that I can recall that everybody in round one, actually round two, but the first one was the easy round, has gotten it right. So congratulations to everybody. So we begin with number one. Come on up. Your word, contestant number one, is shiny. Shiny. S-H-I-N-Y. Shiny. That is correct. Number two, your word is type. Can you please repeat the word? Type, as in using a keyboard on your computer. Type, T-Y-P-E, -E, type. I know you had it, but you said E before the P, so under the rules, you did, that's incorrect. Because you had said T-Y-E, caught yourself, and then said P-E, but once a letter comes out of your mouth. Okay, I'm so sorry. So again, guys, and I talked about this earlier, clearly she knew the word because she's so smart, but uh, if you start saying your word and start spelling it, even if you're mistaken and you catch it right away, there's no going back. So take your time. All right? Number three, your word is disco. Disco. D-I-S-C-O. Disco. That is correct. Number four, your word is latch. May you please repeat the word? Latch. Lash. L no, no, latch. Latch. L A T C H. Latch. Very good. And you did exactly the right things. Take your time so that I can interrupt if you misunderstood me. Very good, number four. Number five, your word is sloth. Sloth. S-L-O-T-H, sloth. That is correct. Number six. Your word is pudding. Can you pronounce that again? Pudding, I popped my P there. Pudding, as in the dessert. Oh, may I have the definition? Um, sure. It is a sweet, creamy dessert that is soft, spongy, or thick. Chocolate pudding, for example. Pudding. P-U-D-D-I-N-G. Pudding. That is correct. Number seven, listen carefully. Your word is hours, but before you start, hours like in the clock on the wall. Hours. Can I have a definition, please? Sure. Um, periods of time lasting 60 minutes. Hours. H-O-U-R-S. Hours. Very good. Very good. Number nine. Your word is maple. Excuse me. Maple. The definition? Sure. Um, a tree with gray bark, section leaves, hardwood, and sap, which is used to make syrup. Maple. M A P L E. 
people. That is correct. Number 10, your word is plaster. Plaster. P L A S T A R. Plaster. That is incorrect. It is P L A S T E R. It is E R. Number 11, your word is quest. Quest. Q U E S T. Quest. You are correct. Number 12, your word is invent. Invent. I N V E N T. Invent. Our judges say correct. Good job. Number 13, your word is splinter. Splinter. S P L I N T E R. Splinter. And you are correct. Number 14, your word is royal. May you repeat the word? Royal, as in the royal family. Royal. R O Y A L. Royal. And that is correct. Number 15, your word is whenever. Whenever. W H E N E V E R. Whenever. Correct. Number 16, your word is bacon. Baking. B A K I N G. Baking. No, that is incorrect. So I believe she thought I said baking. It's bacon. So if you're not sure what I had said, that is critically important that you say, can I repeat the word? Your word number 17, wrong. Can I get a definition, please? Yes. Not true, correct, or right. He took a wrong turn. Wrong. W R O N G. Wrong. And you are correct. Number 19, your word is tangled. Tangled. T A N G L E D. Tangled. You're correct. Number 20, your word is artistic. Artistic. A R T I T. S T R C T artistic. That is incorrect. You missed an S early on. It's A R T I S T I C artistic. Number twenty one. Your word is grown. Oh, hang, hang, yeah. Let me uh, grown as in. When he misspelled the word he, no, that's not right either, because there are, there are two ways to sell. Let's go to another word, because I messed that up. Let's go to siren. Your word is siren. Can you repeat the word? Siren, as in a police car has a siren. Siren. S-I-R-E-N. Siren. Thank you very much. And sorry about that, that I gave you a fright there. You're correct. Number 22. Your word is shavings, plural, shavings. S H A V I N G S, shavings. 
Very good. And everybody, make sure you say the word before you start spelling. You're correct. Number 23, your word is tireless. Tireless. T I R E L E S S. Tireless. That is correct. Number 24, your word is clumsy. Clumsy. Can I please have it in a sentence? Brianna's clumsy attempt to pick the lock on her sister's diary left scratches. The, Clum boy, the, the boy was clumsy and dropped his pencil. Clumsy. C-L-U-M-S-Y. Clumsy. Okay, that's correct. Number 25, your word is factory. Factory. F-A-C-T-O-R-Y, factory. That is correct. Number 26, your word is poodles, plural, poodles. Can you repeat it again? Poodles, a kind of dog. P-O-O-D-L-E-S, poodles. And you're correct. We've completed another round. Good job, everybody. Did you want me to give you a word? As long as you're up there. <laughs> Remember, guys, we're having fun. All right, number one, as we start another round. And your word, number one, is inspire. Can you use it in a sentence? I can. William hopes to inspire his children to be good readers by taking them to the library every weekend. Inspire, I-N-S-P-I-R-E, inspire. And you're correct. Good job, number one. Your word number three is boasted. Boasted. B O A S T E D, boasted. And you're correct. Correct. I'm sorry. Number four, your word is abnormal. 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 A B N O R N. That's incorrect. The last part of it is A-L, not E-L. Thank you very much. <laughs> Number five, your word is gravity. Can you please use it in a sentence? When astronauts go into space, they have to figure out how gravity is going to impact their spacecraft. Gravity, G-R-A-V-I-T-Y, gravity. And you are correct. 
Number six, your word is borrowed. May I have that in a sentence? Sure. Jack borrowed a book about snails from the library so he could finish his science project. B O R R O W. Borrowed. E D. Okay, you caught yourself, but it's unfortunately that. Uh, Okay, hang on, the judges are speaking. Okay, you're still in, congrats. No, hang on, hang on. Okay, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> the, judges, the, ju the judges were saying that their original decision was the correct decision, so, uh, and I know you caught yourself, but uh, that is the way the process works. So make sure, again, everybody, before you start spelling the word, repeat it, so that uh, if you're mistaken, I can catch you before you start spelling. All right, number seven. Your word is scratched. Scratched. Can I have a definition, please? Yes. Scraped or rubbed lightly with something pointed or rough in order to relieve itching. Can I have a, 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 in a sentence, Yes. Please? Dennis repeatedly scratched at his bug bite, only to discover that that was making it worse. Scratched. S-C-R-A-T-C-H-E-D. Scratched. And you're correct. Number nine, your word is ghost. Can I have the definition? Sure, you can. Uh, a supernatural appearance. Over Halloween, you will see a ghost every once in a while. Ghost, G-H-O-S-T, ghost. And you're correct. Number 11, your word is distorted. Can I get the definition, please? Sure. Twisted out of a natural, normal, or original shape or condition. Distorted. D-I-S-T-O-R-T-E-D. Distorted. That is correct. Number 12, your word is shriek. Do you want me to use it in a sentence? Yes, please. Okay. Betty let out a shriek when her sister startled her. Shriek. S H R E A K. Shriek. That is incorrect. Shriek is S-H-R-I-E-K. Thank you very much. And as we can tell, the words are getting a little more difficult, so take your time. If you have any question at all, make sure you slow down and ask me. Number 13, your word is majestic. Majestic. M A J. E-S-T-I-C-K, Majestic. That is incorrect. You did not need the K at the end. Thank you very much. <laughs> Number 14, your word is universe. May I repeat the word? Universe. As when she'll learn all about it when you go to astronomy class. Universe. U-N-I-B-E-R-S-E. -E. Universe. Correct. Good job. Number 15. Your word is signals. 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 S-I-G-N-A-L-S. -S. Signals. And you are correct. Number 17, 
Your word is guidance. Can I please get a definition, please? Yes. Advice on choosing courses, preparing for a line of work, or coping with personal problems. He wasn't sure what to do, so he went to get some guidance. Guidance. G-U-I. D-E-N-C-E. That is incorrect. It was an A. G-U-I-D-A-N-C-E. Thank you. Number 19, your word is eliminate. Eliminate. E-L-I-M-A-T-E. -E. Eliminate. That is incorrect. It is E-L-I-M-I-N-A-T-E, -E, eliminate. <laughs> Number 21, your word is axis. Can you give me the definition? Yes. Um, a straight line body or three-dimensional figure rotates around an axis. Axis. A, C, S, E, S, S. Axis. That is incorrect. It is A, X, I, S. <laughs> Number 22, your word is Relics. Relics. R E L I C S. Relics. You are correct. Number 23, your word is stylish. What is it? Stylish, as in how someone dresses. He was very stylish. Stylish. S. T Y L I S H, stylish. And you are correct. Number 24, your word is knelt. Knelt. Can you please repeat the word? Knelt. Alistair knelt down to pick up the coin she had dropped. Melt. No, knelt. Knelt? Knelt. Oh. N E L T, knelt. That's incorrect. It begins with the K. K N E L T. Thank you. <laughs> Number 25, your word is creatures. Can you please read it in a sentence? Sure. It was Jack's job to feed and water the creatures on his family's farm. Creatures. C-R-E-A-T-U-R-E-S. Creatures. That is correct. All right, finishing up this round with number 26. Your word is sprouted. Can you put in a sentence? Sure. The plant outside the window sprouted new leaves overnight. Sprouted. S P R O U T E D. Sprouted. And you're correct. Moving on to a new round, and hang on, number one, we'll let everybody get seated so you can just relax for a second. Okay, number one, we're ready for you. Your word number one is despair.
Despair, D I S P A R E, despair. That's incorrect. Despair is D E S P A I R, despair. Thank you. Number three, your word is youthful. Youthful, Y-O-U-T-H-F-U-L, youthful. And that is correct. And remember, guys, looking at the judges, don't look at me. You are correct. Number five, your word, number five, is champion. Can you please use that word in the sentence? James is a champion gymnast who competes with his college team. Champion, C-H-A-M-P-I-O-N, champion. And you are correct. Number seven, your word is, and this is a plural word, spectators. Spectators, can I have it in the definition, please? People watching an exhibition, such as tonight, we have spectators in the audience. Spectators, S-P-E-C-T-A-T-O-R-S, spectators. And you're correct. Your word number nine is mirror, as in she looked in the mirror to make sure her hair was right. Can you give me the definition? Yes. Um, a polished or smooth substance that forms images by the reflected light. Most bathrooms have a mirror. Mirror. M-I-R-R-O-R. Mirror. You're correct. Number 11, your word is captivity. Captivity, C-A-P-I-T-I-V-I-T-Y, captivity. That is incorrect. It is C-A-P-T-I-V-I-T-Y, captivity. <laughs> Number 14, your word is gentlemen, gentlemen. Gentlemen. G E N T L M E N, gentlemen. That's incorrect. You missed an E in there, gentlemen. G E N T L E M E N, gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> Number 15, your word is pronounce. Pronounce. P R O N O U N C E, pronounce. Then that's correct. Number 22, your word is infinity. I-N-F-I-N-I-T-Y. Yes, that is correct. I was just looking to the judges. So, sorry to make you nervous there. For, so remember, guys, say the word before you start spelling it and after you spell it, too. All right? Number 23, your word is construction. Construction. C-O-N-S-T-U- C-K-I-O-N. That is incorrect. It's construction. C-O-N-S-T-R-U-C-T-I-O-N. Construction. Thank you. <laughs> Number 25. Your word is resemble. Resemble. Can you please use it in a sentence? Yeah. It's always a surprise to grandma to see how much her grandchildren resemble each other. Can you 
please repeat, repeat the word again? Sure. Resemble, as in to be like or similar to. R E S E M B L E. And you are correct. Congratulations. Number 26, your word is leopard, the kind of animal you might find in a zoo, leopard. Can you give a definition? Sure. A large, strong cat of Southern Asia and Africa, usually with black spots. Can you re repeat the word? Sure. Leopard. Leopard. L E O P. A R D leopard. And you're correct. Very good. We finished another round. All right, we have eight contestants left. Way to go, guys. We're getting into the harder ones. Your word number three is beneath. Beneath, B E N E A T H, beneath. And you're correct. Good job. Your word number five is Japanese. Can you please use that in a sentence? Sure. Jim is especially fond of Japanese food, so it's no surprise that he orders sushi every chance he gets. Japanese, capital J A P E N E S E, Japanese. That is incorrect. It's J A P A N E S E, Japanese. Thank you. Number seven, your word is qualify. Qualify, can I have a definition please? Sure. To fit for a job or an office, you need to qualify to get this job. Qualify, can I have it in a definition? Anyway. Yep, Dean hopes he will qualify to become a volunteer at the library. Qualify, Q. A U L I F Y qualify. That is incorrect. It is Q U A L I F Y qualify. Thank you. <laughs> Number nine, your word is hoisted. Can I have the definition? Yeah. Moved from one place to another by or as if by lifting. He hoisted the statue from one part of the room to the other. Hoisted. H-O-I-S-T-E-D. Hoisted. And you're correct. Number 15, your word is banishment. Banishment. B-A-N-I-S-H-M-E-N-T. Banishment. And you are correct. Number 22, your word is penalty. Penalty. P-E-N-A-T-L-Y. Penalty. That is incorrect. The L comes first. Penalty. P-E-N-A-L-T-Y. Penalty. Number 25, your word is perish. Hang on, let me, before you answer, because this is a homonym, perish. Helena was convinced she would perish if she did not get a glass of water soon. Do 
you want a definition? Yes, please. To become destroyed or ruined, die. That is incorrect. It is P E R I S H. Perish. <laughs> Number 26, your word is dismissal. Can you give a definition? The state of being removed from employment, enrollments, or position in an office. Dismissal. D I S M I S A L dismissal. That is incorrect. There are two S's in that. D I S M I S S A L. <laughs> On to the next round, and we have three contestants. Hey, Pam. Finish it first, and then okay, right. So okay, all right. Okay, the 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 delay was just that we're now down to three, and two of you will go on to uh, compete at the state level. So we just wanted to make sure the process we're going to go through. And hang on one second. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. So we do have three trophies, so all of you have already won a trophy. But as we said, two of you will go on to compete at the state level. So we're going to go through, determine a champion, and then we'll go back to determine who will then go on to state. So that doesn't mean you have to do anything different. Just keep on spelling like you have been. But uh, that is the plan, to name the champion first. So number three, come on up. Your word number three is supposedly, supposedly. Suppo can you repeat that please? Supposedly. Supposedly. S-U-P-P-O-S-S-E-B-L-Y, supposedly. That is incorrect. It uh, is S-U-P-P-O-S-E-D-L-Y. <laughs> Number nine, your word is irked. Can you give me the definition, please? Sure. Irritated or disgusted by the other person's behavior. Irked. I R K E D. Irked. That is correct. Number 15, your word is pennant. As, as in a flag put in a boy's room because his team won the pennant. Pennant. P E N N A N T. Pennant. And that is correct. So we are down to two now. So number three, you will get a trophy. Congratulations, and we'll do that afterwards. <laughs> number nine and 15, you're both going on to state. Now we're gonna go on to see who wins here tonight. But congratulations, you're both going on to state competition. <laughs> So, number nine, come on up. Your word number nine is recognition. Can you give me the definition? Special notice or attention. Can 
you use it in a sentence? Sure. Whoever wins tonight's spelling bee will get some recognition at school tomorrow. Recognition. R E C O D N I T I O N. Recognition. That is incorrect. It is a G, not a D. You are thinking recognized, but it's recognition. R E C O G N I T I O N. Recognition. All right, number 15, if you get this correct, you will then go on to a championship word. Your, word, your uh, first word is conservatory. Conservatory. C-O-N-S-E-R-V-I-T-O-R-Y, conservatory. That is incorrect. It's a A, not an I. C-O-N-S-E-R-V-A-T-O-R-Y. So number nine, you are still in competition because we begin a new round and your word in this round number nine is miniature can you give me the definition being or represented on a small scale miniature m i n i a t u r e miniature and that is correct Number 15, your word in this round is paramedic. As in, as in when there's an accident, they will call the paramedic to the scene. Paramedic. P-A-R-A-M-E-D-I-C. Paramedic. And you are correct. We go on to the next round. Your word, number nine, is buzzard, as in the bird. Can you repeat the word? Buzzard. Can you give me a definition? Any of various birds of prey, such as a turkey or a condor. It's a type of bird. Can you repeat the word? Buzzard. B, buzzard. B. U Z Z A R D buzzard. I'm sorry, that's incorrect because you said the B, then you said buzzard, and then you spelled buzzard. Hmm? The question is whether you started over again after you. Yes? Okay, you're good. I'm told uh, by the judges, the rules say you can start over. <laughs> Your word number 15 in this round is antagonism. Antagonism. A-N-T-A-G-O-N-I-S-M. Antagonism. And you are correct. All right, we start another round. Your word number nine, and remember looking at the judges, is fugitive. Can you give me a definition? Sure. One who tries to escape justice. Fugitive. F-U-G-A-T-I-V-E, fugitive. That is incorrect. It's F-U-G-I-T-I-V-E. Number 15, your word in this round is, your word number 15 is culprits, plural, culprits. Culprits. 
culprits. C U L P R I T S culprits. That is correct. So now you have to spell a championship word. And your championship word number 15 is peasantry. Peasantry. P E A S A N T R Y peasantry. Wow, you are correct and you are the champion. Yeah. Okay. All right, congratulations to everybody, and I think uh, this is by far the best tournament we've ever had. I was thinking we were going to run out of words, but again, congratulations to everybody who competed tonight. You were all just fabulous. So you should all feel really, really good about uh, how you did tonight. So let's start now with the uh, trophy recipients. Third place from Sherwood Elementary is Alexa. Glasses time, I didn't used to need them. Maharis, Alexa, come on up. Second place, and again, she will be competing at the state level as well, so she's probably going to celebrate a little bit tonight and then go study your words again. But in second place from FM Day Elementary, Mackenzie Goodson. Come on up, Mackenzie. And then our champion, representing Westminster Academy of International Studies, Cristobal Aguirre. Come on up, Cristobal. And let's make sure we get a picture of you guys there together. All right, uh, that does it for our elementary level. We're going to.